Hello and welcome to video 2 of our course on mobile data collection using the Kobo toolbox. My name is Wilfred Ngwa. In this video, we will look at the setup of a typical mobile data collection system when compared to the traditional paper-based system. If you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, please click on the subscription button below. I will advise you register and take this course from our website in order to have access to the lesson quizzes. The link is shared in the comment section below. That said, let's get to business. I indicated in the first video that mobile data collection was introduced to address the many shortcomings of the traditional paper-based forms. Just for the record, the mobile data collection system, although better in my opinion, is not here to replace the paper-based system. We will see why after I walk you through both systems. A typical paper-based data collection system looks like this. First, you need to have a properly designed questionnaire. Then, you will have to print and test your questionnaire to identify any possible errors and to ensure that your questions are properly asked, depending on the context. In the event of any issues, you have to return to make adjustments. Once your questionnaire is validated, you now move over to doing some massive printing depending on your sample size while ensuring a 10% surplus to account for possible error. The printing process is accompanied by some manual organization of your printed papers, which is usually not a very simple thing to do. Once this is done, it is now time to dispatch your surveyors or data collectors for data collection in the field. Field in forms need to get on your computer. What that means is you will have to create a well-adapted entry database to convert your data from paper form to a digital form. This has to be followed by data cleaning to ensure good quality data as errors of data collection and entry are almost unavoidable. As a matter of fact, these errors are unavoidable. Thereafter, your data may have to be exported to an analytical database of your choice, depending on the complexity of the analysis that need to be performed. The final output of this is your tables and graphs that need to be incorporated in your reports or presentations. A typical mobile data collection system, on the other hand, looks like this. Just like with the paper-based system, you need to have a properly designed questionnaire. Your questionnaire needs to be configured into an electronic form. In the case of the Kobo toolbox, the configuration process is done either on the web or in Excel, after which you have to deploy the form to a mobile device. Once this is done, you need to test your forms in a pilot to ensure the proper functionality of your forms as well as ensure that your questions are properly asked. Again, in the case of any errors, you will have to return to making adjustments, only that this time it is at a configuration level. Once you are done with the reconfiguration process, you can now redeploy your adjusted form to your mobile devices and have your data collectors dispatched to the field. Collected data once submitted is available in electronic form on a server, accessible only to you or any other person that has your password. You can then check for any possible errors and then either use the default analysis produced by the Kobo toolbox or export your data to any other analytical software of your choice for analysis. Please leave comments on which of the two systems you think is better.
in our next video, we will be going practical by designing a simple data collection form using Kobo's Toolbox Online Form Builder. Ensure that you have your account created. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and remember to register for the course on our website. The required links are shared as the first comment below. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video.